Hello, beloved church family. Hallelujah. Here we are again, Wednesday night worship service. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I am so thankful. Oh my goodness, I am so thankful. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit lives on the inside. Praise God that we have his peace. Amen. Say with me, his peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, here we are in, a, in our awesome youth room. Praise God. And um, pray for me because, uh, just pray for me, please, because I did not want to come up here because um, it's hot. And Holy Spirit said this is where he wanted the message for tonight. And hallelujah. I am so excited. Amen. Don't you love it that we serve a good and perfect father, that he is just head over heels in love with us? And that he has such a sense of humor. Amen. And uh, I'm so grateful. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful. Well, our message for tonight is surrender. Amen. Can you say that with me? Surrender. Surrender. So before we open up in prayer, I'd like to ask you, I'd like to ask you to think about that time when you surrendered your life to Lord Jesus Christ. glorious. Amen. When you surrendered. Amen. And I pray that there's some right now that in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ right now that you're just saying, Father, I surrender my life to you. Lord Jesus Christ, I was waiting for the preacher to say that. He said it. I surrender my life to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, it, it brings me back in my old dead self when I tried to run away from the police. <sighs> what a bad idea that was, right? What a bad idea that was. And guess what? You always get caught. And I remember getting caught and they, 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 they tell you, you know, turn off, the, turn off the vehicle, right? Put both hands out the window, right? Open the door with your left hand, get out the vehicle, Step out of the vehicle slowly. You better make sure you step out that vehicle slowly, right? And you step out that vehicle, put your hands over your head. Huh? Come on now, somebody, right? Now get on your knees. Whew, okay, right? And praise God he gave me wisdom even when I was disobedient, when I didn't want anything to do with Lord Jesus. Remember, that's the old dead self. But praise God, he gave me wisdom to be obedient to the authorities, right? To be obedient. And you surrender, right? When you surrender, it's not only I put my hands up. When you surrender, okay, this is what I'm going to tell you next to do. Get on your knees, right? Now I'm going to tell you, get on your face. Now I'm going to tell you, put your hands behind your back. Interlock your fingers, right? Feet crossed, you know, and you just hear the words, and if you truly surrender, guess what? There's no fight about it. Whatever you say, I'm going to do. Amen? And listen to the anointing that Holy Spirit wants to bless us with. Hallelujah. In Holy Spirit, in the Holy of Holies. That even when I just went through of what the world goes through, right? As far as, you know, in, in that scenario, when I say world, you know, just being a thief. That's who I was, a thief. And when I had to finally surrender, because I knew I wasn't going to get away with it, right? I pray that this is ministering right now, even before we open up and pray. I pray that this is ministering to you right now, as I'm just being completely transparent and honest with you, that there is going to be a point of surrender. And this is the word that Holy Spirit has us for tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't get crunchy now. Praise God. Amen. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Rejoice. Praise God. So before we get into the written word, hallelujah, we're going to go in prayer. And please pray for me, hallelujah. Let's just, uh, let's just worship, hallelujah. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ, Father. And I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that I surrendered to Lord Jesus Christ. I surrendered my whole life, Father. I surrendered my every breath, every cell, every hair of my body. I surrender to Lord Jesus Christ, Father. And I am so thankful, Father God. I am so thankful, Father God, that as we surrender to you, Lord Jesus Christ, because now you own us, Father. Holy Spirit, you blessed us with freedom. You blessed us, Holy Spirit, with grace, who you are. You blessed us with your peace. Holy Spirit, this is all of you. You are our God, and we're just so thankful. So, Father, as we plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, Father God, we thank you that you bind up every demonic spirit, Father. You bind it up through your holy blood. And in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we breathe a fresh anointing. Holy Spirit, we bless you. Have your way, Holy Spirit. You are our only teacher. You are God Almighty. And as we worship you, as we lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we bless you, Heavenly Father, and we just say thank you. Thank you, Father, for who you are, a good and perfect Father. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Father. And it's in Jesus Christ's name. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. Give somebody a high five. Amen. Hallelujah. Give yourself a high five if you're all alone. Praise God. You're never all alone, but physically... If you're by yourself, give yourself a high five, amen? Because Holy Spirit lives in you, amen? And let's not forget the angels. Praise God, give the angels a high five. Hallelujah. They love high fives too, praise God. I thank God that all his angels are around us, fighting for us and protecting us, amen? Going before us and pushing evil far, far, far away from us. Hallelujah. Leading us and guiding us. The Holy Spirit's light in you and through you goes before you, amen? Piercing through darkness, cutting every foul thing off in Jesus' name and allowing every good and perfect thing that Father God has for you, has divinely orchestrated that he leads and guides your step in Jesus' name. Amen. God is going to bless you with a fresh anointing tonight. Why? Because we chose to surrender. Amen. Say that word again with me, beloved church family. Surrender. Amen. Now, this is a really powerful word when you think about it, because truly, how did you get saved? We surrendered. Amen. Hallelujah. Right? How did you get arrested? I surrendered. Right? It's the same thing. I surrendered. Right? Isn't it amazing how that word surrender, oh my goodness, when you surrender to something, you allow that thing, right, to take complete control. Right? That person, that thing, I say thing because if you surrender to alcohol, if you surrender to drugs, Right? If you surrender to pornography, if you surrender to lust, then what happens? Those demonic spiritual things will try to come on you. Now, if you have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, hallelujah, you have the power and anointing through Holy Spirit in you to rebuke that. Amen? Say it with me. Rebuke that. Amen? And the glory of God is he wants you to live a life. In victory through Christ Jesus our Lord. He wants you to live a life of abundance, of gooder and gooder. Amen? And hallelujah. So pardon me as we move on. I know many of you don't care. But as I wipe, you know, tears and, and sweat, praise God. It's only like 182 degrees here in the youth room. But um, hallelujah. Amen? I, I, could, I could use to lo lose a few pounds. Praise God. So we're going to be okay. Praise God. Nothing's going to stop the word of God. Amen. We're going to keep on worshiping. Hallelujah. We're going to be doing it for all of eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I'll tell you right now, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus name. Amen. Oh my goodness. I love you guys so much. Hallelujah. So before we get into the, the word that we have, the Holy Spirit has lined up for us in the written word, we're going to be in Ephesians five. We're going to be in, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to Romans 12, 1 first. Let's go to Romans 12, verse 1. And as we do that, then we'll work our way over to Ephesians 5. But in Romans 12, verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, it's therefore a reason, brethren, 
by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen? Your reasonable service. So, once again, we, 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 have to, we have to just trust in Lord Jesus Christ, knowing that when God says, I want your body, amen? Say it with me, I am a soul. Say it with me, I am a spirit. Say it with me, I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? This is what you're made of. This is your three-part being, amen? And so when we say that, when God says, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, Immediately, what that means is complete surrender to Holy Spirit. Amen? See, Holy Spirit lives in this body, in your body. We are members of the body of Lord Jesus Christ. And why is this very important as far as getting into this word surrender? Well, we live in a world right now that doesn't want any kind of surrender. Right? Fight, fight, argue, right? You know? But see, a child of God surrenders to Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Why? Because when you surrender to God, God will fight your battles. Amen? Hallelujah. I, listen, I know who I'm talking with. Amen? I know who I'm worshiping with. Amen? I know who I'm speaking with. I'm going to tell you right now, I want God fighting my battles. Amen? Amen? Because I already know the victory is already ours through Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. I don't want to, you, you, you ever do that? Like you ever go, I, I don't want to touch that, right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's how I am with anything. Father, it's all you. The glory is all yours, Father God. Hallelujah. The glory is all yours, Father. We don't want, I don't want to touch none of it. Father, I just thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you, Father, for your presence, for your every breath. Amen? So when you say you don't want to touch it, doesn't this look familiar? <laughs> Amen? Doesn't it look familiar? Right? What did we say earlier? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Right? And the glory of God is when we, you know, when we praise and worship, hallelujah, many of us, many of us, if Open Arms Community Church is your home church, right? Many of us, hallelujah, through the freedom that we have in Lord Jesus Christ, knowing that we are born again, that we are children of God, and that Holy Spirit lives in us, many of us, many of us, through victory, through freedom, even through trials and tribulation, oh, hallelujah, it's so glorious to just lift up your hands and just worship the Heavenly Father, amen? To just be completely open and say, Father, I surrender. Now, in Romans 12, 1, hallelujah, the Apostle Paul is making sure that we understand that this is not just an outward appearance to just show people, oh, look at me, I'm a worshiper, right? Be careful, amen? Say that with me, be careful, right? Because th 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 there, are, there are wolves in sheep clothing that want to make you, you know, think that they are who they say they are, but the fruit will show, right? The fruit will show a worshiper of God. The fruit, say it with me, Holy Spirit, fruit. Amen. Holy Spirit fruit. See, God exposes everything. Amen. So when I say be careful, you know, it's easy in outward appearance to say, oh, hallelujah, look, praise God. I love this song. Hallelujah. But see, what God is saying is surrender. Yes, you may have the outward appearance as this, but what is happening in the Holy of Holies? What is happening in the thoughts of the soul, right? What is happening right now in the child of God? Is every part of you in surrender and in worship? Because remember, you can look the part, but yet in your thoughts, thinking perverse things. Or maybe in your heart, having unforgiveness, right? Having something, bitterness, Anger, rage, right? And it all stems from, yes, you, you said it, unforgiveness, right? Insecurities, right? Because remember, those tormenting thoughts want to infiltrate the Holy of Holies. God right now is asking, are you offering your body as a living sacrifice? Amen? 
Last time I checked, this is a daily thing now that we have to continue to renew ourselves. Renew ourselves. It's a choice. Beloved family, it's a choice. Will you make that choice with me right now that, Father, I surrender all in Jesus Christ's name? Amen. There's some of you that wanted to say it, didn't have a chance to. We're going to say it again. Say with me, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I surrender all to you. Holy Spirit, change me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Woo! Amen. Oh, that's powerful. Praise God. Hallelujah. So right now we're going to go ahead and go to uh, Galatians. And we're going to be in chapter 2 and verse 20. Amen. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Praise God. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. I am crucified in Christ. Hallelujah. Now let me ask you something. When I confess to God Almighty in complete surrender that I am crucified with Christ, that I am in Lord Jesus Christ and he is in me, that through Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit lives in me because I am born again. But I keep speaking of things that are of the past and I allow those things to take a hold on me and have control. Am I crucified with Christ? This is where the anointing of Holy Spirit wants us right now. If there is something that the enemy keeps trying to bring you back to, to take your joy away, to make you quiet, right? To torment you, to torture you, to make you depressed, anxious, whatever it is, in Jesus' name right now, I want you to say it with me. I am crucified with my Lord Jesus Christ. That Heavenly Father, right now, say it, beloved church family, I am crucified in my Lord Jesus Christ. And the word of God continues and says, it's no longer us who live, but Christ through Holy Spirit, amen, who lives in you and in me, and it's all through faith. Now, what is this faith? We know the faith, amen. Say it with me, Lord Jesus Christ, the faith, hallelujah, the faith. God gives us the faith in believing and speaking, believing in Lord Jesus Christ and speaking the blessings, the word of God Almighty. And allowing Holy Spirit to be God, amen? To bless us, hallelujah, in the Holy of Holies. To overflow on our families, amen? To overflow on, on our families, our, our children, hallelujah, our pets. I mean, overflow. God's presence overflowing from within you over your entire house, his house, over your workplace, right? Over wherever you go, over, over your church family, hallelujah, and this is what God wants, is for him to be able to flow through us because we know that we're in complete surrender. Say that word with me again. Surrender unto Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I know we can continue on in Galatians. However, Holy Spirit wanted us to go to Ephesians 5 as well. And Ephesians 5, the Holy Spirit says, before we do Ephesians 5, he wants me to go through the armor real quick and there's a reason why and holy spirit just said to do it so we're just going to do it amen let's go into ephesians 6 in ephesians 6 we're going to start in verse 11 amen amen praise god say amen with me hallelujah amen hallelujah verse 11 put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil this is the plots of the enemy remember we discussed that last week God's plan versus the enemy's plots, right? 
Remember, the enemy is not in your tomorrow. The enemy doesn't have a plan, right? The enemy, all he has is distractions. That's it. God, hallelujah, God the Father has a plan over your life. Will you trust his plan? Amen. Now, I know there's some of you going, Brother Joe, you just don't know it. And you're right. I don't know what you're going through, beloved. But I know Lord Jesus Christ like you do. Amen. He is our Lord and our Savior. And the victory is already ours because, hallelujah, he is seated at the right hand of our Heavenly Father. And Holy Spirit, do it with me. Take a breath. Holy Spirit, hallelujah, God himself lives in you and in me. And all God is asking for is to surrender, trust, and to speak life. Amen? Say it with me, speak life. Hallelujah. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore... Take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. How many of you believe that we're living now in evil days? Amen? I know 100%. Amen, right? That This whole world is evil, right? So right now, God is speaking to us, and this is how not only do we fight, but how we stand firm. Amen? Verse 14. Well, before I go verse 14, I, I skipped a line here. It says, and having done all to stand. Amen. Say that word with me, stand. Amen. Stand. Verse 14, stand, therefore, <laughs> therefore reason, having your loins girt about with truth, right? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Amen. So praise God. Here already, God is talking about us. And I know we've been through this. Maybe it's been six months. I don't know, a year. However, God is telling us about the belt of truth. Hallelujah. Who is the way, the truth, and the life? John 14, 6. We just went over that this past Sunday. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. The belt of truth. This belt of truth, right? This belt of truth. How, how Holy Spirit just blesses us. With life-changing revelation, his anointing, his presence in our life, right? This belt, like right now, I, right now, right? If you have a belt on, right, you know that that belt is holding up your pants, right? Keeping you from your, from your, from, from your pants falling off, right? It, ke it keeps you secure, right? There's some of you that say, well, that belt, it, 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 that belt, God is just telling me that he surrounds me. That belt is just, is just letting me know that the truth of Lord Jesus Christ is that his anointing is all around me, that his angels surround me. That belt is just saying that, that God has me, that he holds me, right? This is the truth, the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah, that we surrender. Jesus Christ is Lord, and he is perfect, and he is worthy of all my praise, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, let's give God praise, amen? Hallelujah. So check this out. So we were, we were in verse 14, and then it says, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, amen? Isn't it beautiful that when you know the truth, when the belt is fastened, right? Say that word with me, fastened. Holy Spirit loves it. Oh, hallelujah. When your belt is fastened, that means my belt, right? Right? My God, amen? Can you say it with me? Agape, my God, amen? So when you know the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord, immediately what protects your heart, what protects the holy of holies, is knowing that the righteousness is not based on what you or I can do. The righteousness is based on the truth. And he is the holy one, the only righteous one, hallelujah, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, right? And we just covered this, but God told me to repeat it. Having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. Amen. And your feet, say it with me, and your feet. 
and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. So look at how the armor all ties hand in hand with each other. Amen. Hallelujah. And praise God. I didn't know that this is what Holy Spirit wanted as far as for this moment right now. I'm just so excited. Amen. So you're talking about the belt of truth. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ is the truth, is the way, is the life. He's the only way that you can go to the Father to receive the anointing, the seal, your eternal seal of Holy Spirit, His presence in you and in me. Hallelujah. And it's with Holy Spirit, amen, that Holy Spirit will tell you, son, daughter, it's not your righteousness. It's the righteousness of the truth that was nailed on the cross. It's His righteousness that He give you in exchange for your old dead self. The old is dead and gone. You are now born again through Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. And then, hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. So you know that the righteousness, the breastplate of righteousness is covering where? The heart. What is the heart? The holy of holies. Amen. Amen. And the Holy of Holies is where Holy Spirit resides. And who is Holy Spirit? Who is Holy Spirit? He is grace and he is the peace that Lord Jesus Christ leaves us. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ said, I leave you my peace. I don't leave you what this world has. I leave you from what comes from God. His name is Holy Spirit and he is the gospel of peace. And this is how we stand firm. Hallelujah. Do this with me. Amen. If you're standing, if not, you know, just, just push down on your knees. This is how we stand firm in the gospel of peace, in Holy Spirit. Amen. In his peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Oh, hallelujah. Who is the faith? We just covered that earlier. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And look at this shield. Glory to God. Look at that shield. Amen. My question to you, beloved church family, do you have an enormous shield? Amen. Do you have an enormous shield that everyone that God has you praying for, that everyone that, that is in your family, that everyone everyone that you know can, can, can actually rest behind it? Or do you have an itty bitty little shield, a little bitty bitty shield? No, I pray in Jesus' name because we know who the faith is. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And remember, when you trust in Lord Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. Say it with me. He is the faith. Amen. Where the enemy himself, the enemy, he runs, right? But the game the enemy wants to try to play with us is how much faith do you have? Right? The enemy wants us to go uh, uh, to get into religion, to get into works, right? When all God is saying is, worship me, my child, right? Surrender. Surrender. Call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Be thankful, rejoice, and allow the presence of my Holy Spirit to flood your heart, to bless you beyond comprehension. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory to God. And take the helmet of salvation. Amen. The helmet of salvation. Hallelujah. This is your identity. God purchased identity. Amen. The helmet of salvation. Your God-purchased identity. Remember, agape. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. This is knowing that every fiber, every hair on your body, every cell, hallelujah, you are crucified with Christ. Amen. And so when you have the helmet of salvation on, the helmet of salvation simply is you are beloved of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> I am a beloved child of God. Amen. I am. I am God's beloved child. That Lord Jesus Christ, you died for me. And the Holy Spirit, even as I touch my head, even as I breathe, Holy Spirit, it's all you. That I am yours. I am your child. For all of eternity, I'm yours, Father. And for all of eternity, I worship you. And sing praises to your name. And bless you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And this is the helmet of salvation. Amen. Salvation. Saved. Amen. Saved. Say that word with me. Saved. Hallelujah. Last time I checked, when you're saved, you're saved. Can I hear an amen? You don't get more saved. You don't get less saved. Right? You're saved. Amen. 
Hallelujah. I am recovered. Amen. Saved. I was lost. Lord Jesus Christ found me. Amen. I surrender. And hallelujah, I am saved for all of eternity. Hallelujah. Helmet. Hallelujah. Helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. This anointing that Holy Spirit has through us is that he teaches us in worship how to continuously speak life. Amen. Don't be distracted by the temporary. Hallelujah. Focus on eternity. And in that focus in eternity, you see the clear masterpiece of Lord Jesus Christ and the victory. Hallelujah. Of agape in you and in me. Amen. And we speak this life and you watch it manifest before your eyes because God's word does not come back empty in Jesus name. Amen. Praying always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Amen. All the saints. That's you and me. You have Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. That's you. You are a disciple. You're a saint of Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, we are not the ones worthy. Lord Jesus Christ is the one worthy. And we know out of complete surrender. Say that word again with me. Surrender. In complete surrender unto God Almighty that we allow his anointing to flow through. Now, many of you right now, many of you right now may ask, Pastor, what do you mean by allowing God to do something? He's God. He can just do whatever he wants to do. You know, many people are under that, that uh, well, unfortunately, a lot of it has to do with religion. But I need you to know, God doesn't push himself on anybody. Can I hear an amen? We serve a faith God. We serve a good and perfect God. Amen. He does not push himself on anybody. He gives everybody free will. Amen. And the same goes for your relationship with God Almighty. The same goes for your anointing in Holy Spirit. May I go further to explain a little bit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's easy. It's easy to do what the world does. And keep Lord Jesus Christ in your pocket for emergency saying that I'm a Christian. But yet I want to do all these things because it's easy. But when you worship Lord Jesus Christ and you spend time with God, Holy Spirit in you, in a relationship with God Almighty, the more you want, he'll give you as much as you can take. And the blessings of the Lord is, it's always gooder and gooder because he's the only one good. And Lord Jesus Christ is so happy because he knows that as much as you possibly can, you want to bless him because you surrender to him. And it's in the surrender where you know, I'm not going to live this life the easy way. I'm not going to do things just because my friends are doing it or these people are doing it or this religion's doing it or whatever. I'm going to be obedient to Holy Spirit and know what is holy and righteous and submit, surrender to that, and allow God to use me for his glory. Because God says, this is true worship. That I called upon the truth, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. And I surrendered to Lord Jesus Christ, receiving him. And now, Holy Spirit controls my spirit. And I sacrificially live my life pleasing to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Give God praise. Now, praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. There's, there, there's many that can speak in tongues and there's many that don't. Praise God. I said, praise God. Amen. Say it with me. Praise God. If you're one of those that don't, hallelujah. Don't allow that. Don't allow that to, to, to put a wedge in your relationship with God Almighty. All you got to do is just cry out to God. Amen. That's all God wants is to cry out in prayer. Hallelujah. When you open yourself up in complete surrender and you're praying out to the Lord Jesus Christ and you're allowing Lord Jesus Christ to flow through you through the anointing of Holy Spirit. And th there may be many of you right now that speak in tongues and you pray this way. Hallelujah. But guess what? It doesn't make you holier than the other person. 
God loves us all the same, amen? And every one of us is unique and different. And all God is asking of you is, will you just cry out, pour out your heart, amen? If you speak in tongues, speak in tongues. If you don't, don't speak in tongues. If you cry, cry, amen? But cry out to Lord Jesus Christ and bless him the way you know how. And watch what the prayer of a righteous person will do, not only in your life, but in your family, hallelujah, in your community, in your church, hallelujah, pray, amen, and God says, keep on praying, amen, God says, keep on speaking the word of God, yes, Lord Jesus Christ is the word of God, which means when all else fails, all you say is, Jesus Christ is Lord, <laughs> hallelujah, I've been in many situations where I got nothing to say, I got nothing to say, Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, God knows your heart, God knows mine. All he's asking for us to do is to pray, to speak it out, and to allow his anointing to overflow. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. And glory to God in closing in Ephesians 5. And hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit wanted to cover that, cover that with such anointing that Holy Spirit says, I will change your life. You heard, how, you heard how the armor is applied. You heard how you already carry the armor. Hallelujah for all of eternity. Don't you love that? Hallelujah. Don't you love that? Now I know I got a lot of brothers and sisters that, you know, in devotionals, in, in worship, in, you know, going to the secret place, right? Praise God for that. And, you know, there's, there's moments where you just pray it out loud. Hallelujah. And the anointing of Holy Spirit, you could just feel, right, you know, you could just feel the armor, right? I just want you to know, Holy Spirit's telling you right now, this is your very being. This is how God has made you. Born again, covered by his blood, a new creation, a masterpiece of God Almighty. Amen? Say with me, I am a masterpiece through Christ my Lord. Amen? I say all that because Holy Spirit says, I want you to touch on all that. So my holy church knows that the anointing and my presence will overflow through them. My light will shine in them and through them. Amen. And I thank God for just showing us and, you know, for us just going back. It's a great review. Amen. It's great. Hallelujah. And, and, and I'm so thankful for that. God says, if you want that, let's go to Ephesians 5 verse 21. Starting in verse 20. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I know who I'm worshiping with. Hallelujah. That's all we do is we thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. Rejoice. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, that this temporary world, whatever is going on, it's just temporary, Father. I thank you that I have eternity with you. I thank you, Father God, that this thing that used to take me off course, I thank you, Father God, that you're well aware of what's happening. And in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, Father, you give me the anointing power through Holy Spirit to speak life over this thing, Father, and to give you glory, honor, and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. I can't do it, but you can, Father, and I trust in you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's these moments of worship, amen that we just continually, continuously thank God. Because remember, we, amen, praise God, some of you said it already, surrender to Lord Jesus Christ. But why is surrender so important? It leads us to verse 21. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Whew, hallelujah. Can you get an amen? Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Which means that if someone truly fears God, submission follows. If someone truly fears God, surrender follows, right? It, the Word of God says it. Submitting yourselves one to another in fear of God. Which means that if you do not fear God, you won't submit to one another. You won't surrender. But if you do fear God, you're quick to See, Holy Spirit want, wants to bless all of us, hallelujah, all of his churches, 
Of course, we as Open Arms Community Church, we speak this blessing and anointing to bless God Almighty through Christ our Lord and allow Holy Spirit to flow with this fresh anointing over God's holy people. That we surrender, submit completely to God because we fear only God Almighty. And the beauty of this anointing that God just spoke right now is that in this brand new season, God has a new blessing, hallelujah, a new breakthrough, a new miracle in store. The reason why is we completely surrendered because we choose to fear God. Now, when you fear God, you submit to one another. You surrender. Why is this very important? Because Holy Spirit wants to be God. Holy Spirit wants to unify his church, the body of Lord Jesus Christ, to unify, to be one. No division, no grumbling, no complaining, no gossiping, none of that. Because it's the devil. That is the devil himself. Gossiping, complaining, grumbling, crunchiness, right? That's the devil. Holy Spirit's getting rid of all that. And, and, and he's unifying his church before we are raptured out of here. Amen? Before we are called home. Hallelujah. And so glory to God, when you talk about submission, surrender, let's keep in mind. That, I mean, here we are in Ephesians 5. We, we, we read verse 20, and that was verse 21 that we read. But when you continue, Holy Spirit said, just leave this for you, between you and God, and Holy Spirit will flow through you as you read it. But when you read on, and you go into the armor, you will find, Holy Spirit told me close the written word of God, so I just did, amen. You will find that you cannot put the armor on without surrendering first can I get an amen you cannot put the armor on without surrendering to Christ meaning that if you're doing something in disobedience to Lord Jesus Christ in disobedience to Holy Spirit the armor does not work does not because you're being disobedient. God is saying, I want you to sacrifice, surrender that disobedience. Allow me to be God over that area of your life. And then the armor, hallelujah, your, remember, salvation, your identity, amen? You see, sometimes we can make the armor a distraction in our relationship with God. And then we wonder why all these things are happening in our life. And we're like, well, I'm praying the armor. I'm praying Ephesians 6 and I'm going through the armor. And, you know, I got the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. Right? My feet's planted in the gospel of peace. Right? And you're going on, you're going on and on. I got my shield of faith. I got the sword of the word. I got the helmet. You're going on and on talking about how you have all this armor. But if you're doing something in disobedience, in rebelliousness, whatever it is that's against Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not going to work. God right now is asking in complete reverence. I love this word surrender. Because you could say that you're reverent, but remember, you could say you're, you surrender, but what's going on in your thoughts? Amen? What's going on up here in the soul? Right? What's going on in here? In the Holy of Holies. Amen? Right? And what's going on right here? Is this in control of all this? Rebuke that in Jesus' name. It's out of order. Right? Call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Right? Keep being thankful to God that I now live in your body, Father. I, I, don't, I do not want to burn in hell. I do not want to be separated from you, Father God. That's hell. Separation, complete separation from God Almighty. I don't ever want to be separated from you, Father. If this thing right now is trying to lure me away, Father God, I, I, get rid of it. I don't want it in Jesus' name. And I pray right now that you receive this anointing in Jesus' name. Amen? Say with me, I surrender. Hallelujah. I surrender. Praise God. I pray that this word blessed you tonight. Amen? I love this word surrender. Amen? Because just like you, I'm a worshiper of Lord Jesus Christ. And I know in order to have Lord Jesus Christ into my life, I had to surrender. Amen? 
And don't get me wrong. Listen, many of you know I, I got nothing to hide from you. I, I, I wish that when I surrendered, I gave everything. But guess what? I didn't. When I called on Lord Jesus Christ, I surrendered. Hallelujah. I know that he saved me. Amen. There's no question about it. He saved me. You called on Lord Jesus. He saved you. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. But I know if you're just like me and guess what? Many, many of us, we're all alike. That, that glorious day, it's like hallelujah and miraculous things take place. But guess what? Something, something, some kind of thought, right? Something from the past. Something tries to creep up. And hallelujah, let's remember what we read in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Amen. God is saying, will you continuously live this life, this vapor that we have? God is coming soon. Will we choose to continuously crucify ourselves? Saying, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving me. Thank you for blessing me with life in abundance. Thank you for living through me. And that I can just bless you as a willing vessel as your beloved child that you can flow through me. Thank you for blessing me to be a blessing to your daughter, to your church, to every soul, Father God, that when they see, they, they see your presence through me, I could just love on them. I don't judge them. I don't speak bad. I just love on them, Father. Because, Holy Spirit, I know you're the one. You're the one that's grabbing all your children right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise, amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, Father God, for Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Father God, for your good and perfect. We have no idea what you go through, Father. But Father God, I pray. Father, I pray. For Open Arms Community Church, that Father, that we bring joy to you, that we bless you, that we're so thankful for you, Father. That we bless you, Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, your anointing just overflows and showers us continuously. Like the mighty ocean, Father God, just continuously. It's all your presence, Father. You are all we want, Father God. And we're so thankful. Father, thank you for charging all your angels over us. Thank you, Father, for going before us and destroying the plots of the enemy. And thank you so much, Father, for we love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Because, Holy Spirit, you're the only one that can, and you live in us, that you know us by name. And Father, thank you that we love one another as Lord Jesus Christ taught us. And Father, thank you for helping us in complete surrender to you, Father. Forgive us. Forgive me, Father, for holding on to things that I had no business to. And I thank you, Father, that your agape, your light shines and exposes. And you give us the power through Lord Jesus Christ to cut the head off, Father. And I thank you so much, Father God, for blessing us, all of us, Father, with the fresh anointing. Thank you so much, Father God, for blessing us with seed to sow into your kingdom. And Father, thank you that you give us the ability to speak life and life gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Oh, my goodness. Love you guys so, so very much. Praise God. Um, please visit oacchurch.com, oacchurch.com, and there you, you'll see all of our past messages, glory to God, everything that Holy Spirit is doing, hallelujah, and um, you have the offering tab there, thank you so much for your faithfulness and giving and blessing Lord Jesus Christ with your offering, oh my goodness, God is so happy, you cannot outgive our Heavenly Father, amen, and God blesses you with seed to sow, amen. And thank you once again for choosing to bless God first with everything you have and blessing one another. Amen. I love you, beloved church family. Oh, I miss you guys so, so much. Can't wait for Sunday. Amen. Well, praise God. If Sunday doesn't come, I'll see you in the next half an hour. Amen. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Love you guys. God bless you. Mwah.